Hello girls. In our last period, we have learned about the structure of the body. Today, let us learn something new about our body. Movements of the body. Children, we all know that some of our body parts can bend. That is why we are able to make movements. Now children, can you tell me which parts of our body can we bend? Let us learn about it. The neck. The neck bends forward as well as backward. It bends left or right. It turns left or right. Children, you are going to stand in front of the mirror and you are going to try this. Okay? Arms. Children, we can bend our arm at the shoulder. Elbow. The fingers of our hand can bend too. That is why we can make a fist. We can do many things with our hands. We use our hands to write, to pick up things. A baby holds the rattle in her hand. Mummy can shapes a laddu with her hands. Isn't it children? There are so many things that we can do with our hands. It is possible because it can bend. The vest. We can bend our torso only at the vest. We can bend forward at the waist. That makes it easier for us to do many things. We can pick up things from the floor. We can tie our shoelace and play games too. Our legs can bend at the hip joint the knees and the ankle. Our toes too can bend but not as much as our fingers. We use our legs too for several purposes. We use our legs to play, to stand, to run. We climb up and down stairs. We hop and jump. We work some machines too using our legs. Have you ever seen this? I am unique. There are countless people in the world, but all of them have the same body parts. Isn't it, children? Even so, no two persons are exactly alike. That is because each one of has a different figure and form. There are differences in height and weight, hairline and the features of the face. In the whole world, only you look like yourself. Did you know this? And children, sometimes twin brothers or sisters look exactly alike, but 
even between them there are small differences say this to yourself i am unique i am special i am me children let's do a quick revision of what we have learned today we are able to make various movements neck can be bent forward and backward shoulder elbow wrist can be bent in different ways we can do many things by moving the fingers of the hand torso is bent at the waist legs can be bent at hip joint knees and ankles no two persons look exactly alike in the entire world you look like yourself even in twins there are small differences children i hope you have understood the lesson take care bye